Monster Werewolf It is clearly visible that the game has been designed with the same concept as Among Us, but with some new twists, with the task like the imposter placing a bomb, whereas the innocent to defuse the bomb. And the most surprising thing is the developer added some zombies. If you are innocent, kill all the zombies to win. In addition, the tasks of the original Among Us are not added, but the core concept is the same. Still, I love the fact that they've made this 3D, which makes the game feel engaging and fun. Blade of God 2 This is an upcoming 3D hardcore action game and the sequel to the original Blade of God series, where players take on the role of the painful, sad, ordinary, but great heroes of mythology as they venture through the vast and mysterious Norse kingdoms. You get to control a mysterious character that's armed with a scythe. Your objective here is to advance through a setting that's full of monsters and get rid of them. Right now, you can only play the beta version of this game. Hammer Odyssey it's a new MMORPG that takes you on a grand adventure across iconic old-world locations. From Marenburg and Drakwald Forest to the Wasteland, each area boasts its own visual style and enemy hordes to take down. And it's all remastered in impressive detail, as you can see in the gameplay. There are six classes in the game which players will be able to choose at the beginning of the game. It looks fairly impressive from a visual standpoint. Star Wars KOTOR 2 I'm pretty impressed with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. It performs well, the frame rate is smooth, the graphics are colorful and sharp, and frankly, it's nice to have a full-fledged RPG on mobile that not only offers a worthwhile story, but won't ask for money every 5 minutes. This is a game you can easily spend some serious time on. KOTOR 2 is an old game, so the graphics are outdated. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to call them ugly, animations are stiff and transitions park too. It's a newer horror game, and the game takes place immediately after the events of the first part, but you don't need to complete Death Park 1 to play this horror game. The story is that you play the role of a boy named Charlie. His sister is possessed by a dangerous clown who has captured her soul and inhabited her body. But her soul is possessed by the clown, so your job is to revive his sister's soul. In addition, to revive her, you have to solve many puzzles and many obstacles have to be overcome. But before going ahead, let me introduce today's sponsor, Mini World Royale. This is an exciting 50-player battle royale game where you will fight with other players on Vanis Island. The game has simple rules. First players have to collect weapons, armor, and then shoot down other players before they shoot you down. Also, you can use cable mechanism to move from one point to another. Overall, the game has cartoonish graphics and a voice chat system which makes it very interesting. Dark Steel This is a mobile game based on the medieval era which uses old classic looking weapons and armor. The game uses a 3D fighting gameplay with amazing graphics and some pretty cool scenarios. Players need to use their weapons to fight and defeat their opponents. In the game, as a brave knight, the player can freely choose different weapons and equipment to participate in the duels. Also, the game has three modes, a campaign mode, multiplayer mode, and a tournament mode, where you will defeat the enemies in your way and share the loot. Super Bear Adventure A very fun 3D platformer game inspired by late 90s games. Super Bear Adventure features an immersive storyline, six open world levels where you can explore, discover the secrets, talk to the kingdom inhabitants and collect as many coins as possible. The main part of the game is you have to save the animal world and save your friends from Queen Bee Clutches. In addition, intricate levels and nice graphics add gameplay originality and strangeness. Hello Guest This is a stealth horror game where you're being stalked by a mysterious creature as you try to track down Mr. Peterson, the neighbor, who has disappeared after the events of the first game. Play against an advanced self-learning AI that tracks and adapts to your every move. The game has an open world where you can explore the Raven Brooks. There are no limitations and players can go anywhere from the beginning of the game. The AI protects its house where the player is trying to break in and stalks the player when out in the open world. 
Overall, it's a great free game and you should try this game. Cyber World Online. This is an open world RPG game with some feel of cyberpunk. The game has a vibrant city filled with pedestrians and traffic where you can use your car to explore many various districts of the city. The game has lots of quests like clear the gangs and mark the radioactive area and more. Also in one lobby up to 8 players play online, complete their task and fight each other. Overall, the game has high cyberpunk style graphics which seems good and controls are decent. 